Okay, Jack Scalfani here, you're cooking with Jack on part two of My Mom Is Great series. This is something my mom made, it's very inexpensive. Uh, a lot of you may be out of work, just trying to make the dollar stretch at the end of the month. Whatever it is, this has a lot of flavor, very inexpensive. Cost maybe $5 to make the whole thing and you'll have tons of it. So, uh, and there's variations. So if you don't like what I do, you can throw something extra in. I'll show you what those are as we go along, okay? All you need to get started, the very basic recipe, is one can of kidney beans, the red kidney beans, one thing of tomato puree, and one pound of elbow macaroni. And see this here? This is my mom's original spaghetti pot. That's right, it's got all the dings, all the scratch marks. This is my mom's pot, and I saw the lid for it too, which is all dented, but uh, it always tastes better when it's in mom's pot. Okay, so let's take a look here. We're gonna bring you into the stove and we're just gonna show you how to put this together. Um, if you've had pasta vizul before, uh, you will have known like at Olive Garden, they put uh, ground pork in it or ground beef in it. Uh, you can make different variations. I have no meat in this recipe. For you vegetarians out there that don't want meat or can't have it or you're allergic to it or whatever it is. So you can add meat to this, not a problem. It'll be just as good, even more delicious, more flavor. Go with the kidney beans, first thing to go in. You want all the juice and everything, okay? So just pour the kidney beans in there. There you go. If you like kidney beans, you put a second can in. If you wanna throw white beans in there, go ahead. That's where you can make your variations. I have the light red beans, do whatever you want, okay? Then you're just gonna take this over to the sink and rinse it out. Not a full can of water, but just kinda of swish it around to get all that flavor out of the can. Here we go. Don't forget the recipe's down below, so you don't have to write this down. We're gonna pour the puree in. Then we're gonna start filling up cans of water, okay? Uh, we're gonna put in a few cans of water. Once again, check below for the amount of water, but we're gonna get all that goodness out of there, and we're gonna add some water to the soup. All right, once again, here's your variation. I put in five cans of water because that's what the recipe asks for and I'm used to that. If you like it stronger, leave one of the cans of water out, okay? It makes a thicker soup and much more flavor. Okay, now it's time to put in some oregano. And what I always do, I always tap it. If you tap the side, you don't glop too much. You're looking at about one, one and a half to two tablespoons. And there's the basil, there we go. Now here's the key. This is another, another interesting part of my mom's soup. She didn't put a lot of salt in, she just put a little bit in. She always told us you're gonna have to salt it at the table. So this will need salt, but just put a little bit of salt in there just to bring up the flavors. But I promise you, at the table, you'll probably wanna add salt and just a little black pepper. There you go. I got the uh, wet garlic, so I'm going to do two heaping tablespoons because we're Italian. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry about that. There we go. Beautiful. Get all the garlic off the spoon, too. This is a fresh ingredient I like to put in. My mom used to do dried, uh, dried minced onions, but I'm just doing fresh. So be sure to put in some onions, too, into the into the batch, okay? And then just let that simmer. You're gonna let that simmer like a soup. So once it starts bubbling and boiling, all the flavors get together, you should be good to go. The onions will soften up. While you're waiting for it to simmer, get this going. Let's get the macaroni cooked, because this ain't gonna take long. Macaroni's probably gonna take longer, so get that water boiling, and uh, let's get the elbow macaroni cooked too. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we got the macaroni all cooked. We're gonna put some of the macaroni in the bowl. Then you steal some of the soup with a big ladle. Now 
Now you can cook this down a little bit more if you want it thicker. But I'm making it how mom made it. it tastes amazing. You gotta taste it, make sure there's any, doesn't need any salt or pepper. You may need a little bit more salt. But one of the things we did as kids, little Tabasco. Hee hee hee. That's right, Tabasco sauce is amazing. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm 10 years old again. This is an amazing comfort food. Once again, it's inexpensive. I want, wait, hold on, I want to get a kidney bean right there. There we go. It's really good. Uh, if you like it thicker, I would add paste or just cook it down longer. Uh, I like it a little soupy, so it's really good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. That Tabasco just comes right out. It's really good. Bread and butter. I even sprinkle cheese on top, melt some cheese on top. It's awesome. Now don't forget, next week's our big episode. That's right, it's my short rib marinade. Excuse me, it's my mom's short rib marinade uh, recipe. I'm not supposed to give it away, but I'm giving away the formula. I was gonna bottle this, but you know what? In celebration of how great my mom is, I'm giving you our marinade recipe. Been doing it for years. Mm -mm -mm. All right, be ready. Next week's going to be exciting. I'll see you on the next Cooking with Jack. Take care. Mm. I'll see you on the next Jack and the Goat. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. Wow. I feel like I'm 10 years old again. Except I wasn't holding it burning my hand. Kidding me. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Oh, we're filming? Oh, sorry. Hey, how are ya? Jack Scalfani here. You're cooking with Jack on the mom, my mom, 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 Oh, mama, mama, giddy up. Elvira. That's all in the right. bloopers, man. Shut up. <laughs>